Snackers, Matt DiNapoli here. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco Developer Relations. Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certification. And welcome to episode 86 of Snack Minute. Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute bite of learning covering tech, coding, and some cool projects that we work on. And the cool thing we're going to be talking about today is community uh, with our guest, Matt. Two, <laughs> uh, Matt, would you mind introducing yourself? Yeah. Hey, Matt. Hey, Kareem. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's an honor to join the Snack Minute uh, episode. So thank you. Um, yeah. My name is Matt Saunders. I'm a community manager over on the Cisco Learning Network community, which is uh, the global uh, learning and certifications kind of central community uh, place for folks to come and, and collaborate on their learning and certifications journeys. You know, uh, community is such an important thing for education, for developer relations, for outreach, for enablement. Um, it's really the crux, in my mind, of of what um, of what we do, um, whether it be you know talks at Cisco Live, whether it be third party um, uh, third party events, or even just engaging within uh, online forums. Um, you know, it's such a great space for people to collaborate for. Uh, people ask questions for people to share s solutions and things like that. And so um, what kind of things, um, you know, for people who aren't familiar with CLN, uh, what kind of things can people expect and what kind of engagement can they expect um, in that kind of community there? What we strive for on the learning network community itself um, really is if we think about kind of a traditional academic environment, right? A brick and mortar campus location, high school, college experience, whatever it might be. In one way or another, on, on, on some level, we're all connected to a community in, during that time, during those experiences. We have our leaders, our, our thought leaders, our teachers, our instructors. We have our you know experienced uh, fellow students. Uh, maybe the upperclassmen, right? Some of the folks that have been doing this for a long time. We have completely new freshmen that are just coming into the programs, totally lost, need some guidance, need a little direction on where to go, need a, a knowledge and, and learning. We also have our administrators, right? Our community management, our community leadership team, our program management teams. And we really work to bring all that together in a central location to coalesce a great community that is supportive, is inclusive, and also is a, is a, is a wonderful way to learn via both osmosis, just learning and listening and absorbing conversations that happen, and also a lot of folks leverage it to help solidify their own learning and their own knowledge by teaching, by explaining, by answering questions. It's a great exchange of information and, and learning methodology to go along with the book you're reading or the course that you're taking. So that's kind of the, the, the core philosophy and the principle that we try to strive for, uh, for within the community. Yeah, I can tell you that for, for me from a, a community a community based learning is is probably the top of my way top three ways of me of kareem learning um <laughs> wanted to ask you just from cisco learning network perspective you know i'm i don't know about it let's say i'm watching this episode of snack minute and i want to head over there and and check it out what do i what's there for me and what do i expect yeah, so thanks, Graham. Um, and you 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 got you nailed it, right? The value of everything. Um, so not only are we a forum, forum space, primarily structured around the Cisco learning and certification paths. So if you're starting uh, your CCNA journey, you'll find a, a dedicated forum to CCNA uh, for for CCNA folks specifically. Same for DevNet, same for enterprise networking, same for cyber ops, et cetera, right? So the forum space is really the core of the community. It's where we do the, the bulk of our interaction and our engaging. In addition to that, we also house all of the exam topics documentation. So a key element to your study strategy for uh, earning certifications is obviously knowing the exam topics. So we house that information on the learning network community. And then we do a lot of additional things to really try to curate and create 
technical learning content. So we build lesson plans, for example, for preparation for the DevNet Associate Certification as one example. And we'll link to key resources on the DevNet website, for example, to help you accomplish your learning objectives around those exam topics. So we really work to uh, curate content together in a single place for folks to follow as a guide, as well as create. And the creation piece looks like a lot of technical webinars every month, technical in-depth webinars covering Cisco ICE, uh, enterprise networking, cybersecurity, cyber ops, um, et cetera. And those webinars are not only presented live with the subject matter experts, but they're also recorded for folks to be able to come back and consume on demand. And so that lets folks uh, come back and watch the videos at on their time schedule as well. And then they can go back to the forums and follow up and interact and engage with either other webinar attendees, the webinar presenters, or just our community management team directly as well, as well as the technical advocacy team. Technical advocates are a key part um, of the community backbone as well. So uh, just for our audience clarity, um, so Cisco uh, Learning and Certifications is one kind of branch of, of um, the learning path that you can uh, go forward and get your certification, CCNA, CCMP, DevNet certifications. Um, there's also, and I think there's some confusion sometimes for people, there's also Networking Academy. Um, does CLN work right. with Networking Academy in that community aspect? And what can people expect that are coming from that side of the house? That's a great question, Matt. Thank you for asking that. Um, the way I kind of look at it, it's a little bit of a stepping stone from Networking Academy into the larger learning and certifications world to go further and pursue the, the, far, the next steps. But we do work closely with the Networking Academy team for sure. You're right, technically we're different parts of a larger organization from Networking Academy learning and certifications, but we work really closely together. We have a great forum just for packet tracer support, for example, figuring out um, best way to Study using Packet Tracer, for example, um, Cisco Modeling Labs, and not related to Network Academy, obviously, but for labbing, uh, same situation, Cis Cisco Modeling Labs forum. So, to your point, Network Academy, we're kind of a, the next step after Networking Academy, but we're right. There's a lot of crossover in there with with the program as well, for sure. We're definitely a resource <clears throat> too, because if you think about Network Academy and what they tailor and who they tailor for, is around you know the associate level of certifications. And so, you know, whether I'm a student out of college looking into getting into networking with CCNA or I'm a go looking to a student looking into getting into, you know, automation, networking automation with Dev Associate, um, we have some great learning paths that are um, tailored for the certification, like you mentioned, Matt. So, you mm -hmm. know, it's a, also a resource for NetAcad, right? Because we have all of this great content free of charge, right? You just need mm -hmm. to join a community where you can go access yeah. something like, what is it, 56 hours or something, or if not more of CCNA content, for instance, is, is, is on CLN. Yeah. So Unfortunately, Matt, this is all exciting stuff, uh, but we're running out of time and you are the first, a first time guest. And so that means uh, you get a little special question if you're familiar with uh, Snack Minute. Are you familiar? <laughs> I'm familiar, and I wasn't. I wasn't going to give you any grief for waiting until episode 86 to have me join. <laughs> but you know, that's okay. I'm sure David Letterman, what you know, had plenty of great later guests in, in his uh, in his shows as well. So, he did like four years into his career, probably. So, <laughs> um, so of course, uh, the question coming to you is: uh, What superpower would you choose to have, and why? Uh, I am definitely a, a, a fan of the Flash, so definitely it would be super speed. Um, you know, just so I can I can get to everywhere I want to be as quick as I want to be, get there and and get back to the things I need to get back to in that same amount of time and that same speed. And I love to be able to travel um, and travel the globe, and that's one of the reasons why I love to go to Cisco Lab Europe, for example. But um, 
the time for for travel there is uh, can be you know a bit challenging so to be able to do that quickly and get back and see all the places in the world that i personally would love to see um that's that's super speed would be my answer well, that's fun. And this new year, um, I'm going to resolve to spend even more time in the community, um, both at uh, CLN and, and and at DevNet and Developer Relations. So, uh, Matt, thanks for your time and thanks for sharing with us your thoughts on community and uh, Snackers. Go check out um, freely available uh, Cisco Live Network community. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns around APIs, programmability and automation, you can check them out in the developer relations forums as well. Um, thank you guys and have a, have a great week and we'll see you next time on Snack Minute. Thank you, Snackers. Matt, always a pleasure. Thank you.